It's my friend David Zips beside me. David uh, came to Christ when he was about 10 years old as a kid, but he has lived most of his life on his own terms. What I would say about Brittany is that she was headed toward a life of destruction and death. She found herself far from God. She described that period to me as agnostic, just really questioning everything that she knew to be true as a child. Her older brother had passed a few years ago, and afterwards she felt doubt and confusion and felt unsure that God's goodness was true for her life. And at that time, Dan was convinced no loving God could, could possibly allow something like that to happen. So he continued his earthly pursuits for a while. And pretty quickly bumped up against two things that he couldn't do anything about. The first was his inability to make life go the way he wanted it to go. And the second was this inner selfishness that he could not rid himself of. And those two things worked together to convince him that maybe God had a better idea. She said, even when I turned away from God, He never left. And it wasn't like He was just waiting on me to come back. He was pursuing me. He loved me enough that He came after me and He chased me and He recklessly loved me and He brought me back to Him. It was during a time of prayer uh, between her and God that He made Himself very real to her and changed uh, pretty much immediately. And through knowing Christ um, and this revelation through His Word, um, He has revealed to her how He wants her worries and her burdens and her fears, and how He's always welcoming her at the foot of the cross to surrender those all to Him. Something that has stood, that just stood out to me time and time again, is how God is taking the things that she has walked through and turning them into something beautiful. He's taken every single thing that she has experienced in her life and that has made her into who she is today. And ever since that day, her story has been rewritten with joy and peace and gratitude. To Rex, God is the one that makes sense of everything. Knowing Jesus is Hayes' favorite thing about being a Christian. He pursues you and cares about you no matter what you've done or who you are. His plan is better than anything we could dream up on our own. She is totally surrendered at this point in her life and she wants to make a public profession of her faith in Jesus. He wants to step into the water today because he believes it's truly the next step of his faith. And this is just the outward profession that her heart is fully surrendered and given over to her Lord. So because he lives, Barbara is redeemed and she is living in the fullness of God's love. Because he lives, Jesse never has to walk in darkness again and gets to walk in the light of life for all of eternity. Because he lives, Joanna is no longer bound in worry and she is now free to experience the fullness of his joy. And because he lives, Dinah can face tomorrow. Dinah, you've trusted in Jesus as your Savior and Lord. Yes, then I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ, raised to walk in newness of life.